Okay, so this is a 2020 MacBook Air and this is the M1 version with 8 gig of RAM and 256 storage. That's why I'm using a 512 SSD to store the games because GTA on its own is 100 gig and uh, just takes up way too much room. But you can see there's plenty of games on here. Pretty much all of these would have been free through the Epic Game Store. And included in that is uh, GTA 5. So let's just launch that. So hit play now. And it will just show uh, how it launches and how it runs. It does actually come up with an error initially, but it does, it does run. And I've played through part of the first mission, but I'll switch over to screen capture fairly soon because it looks a lot better. And it's also better than playing on a 13.3 on a inch screen. So I get this uh, message come up, but if I just ignore it and just let it carry on, it will load up itself. So it's gone into the intro, but let's just skip into the game. I had an error earlier on with it. Yeah, all the windscreens being green, you can see here. So it's probably something I can change in the settings, one of the effects or something. Now I'm going to try this with uh, using the screen capture. This is QuickTime that's screen capturing this at the moment, and I plugged a microphone in. So let's see what happens. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to cut out loads because the language is, uh, is constantly swearing. Uh, so let's see what it's like for driving. It feels really smooth, it feels really, really nice. I oh, almost took him straight away, look. And the draw distance is good as well. This is so impressive that this is running on an M1 Mac. So it's a Windows game, it's not native, uh, but what they've done with this game porting tool is just superb. It, it really is very, very powerful. So all the details and everything. I'll slow down in a minute. Uh, well, let's let's just drive a bit more, get to the end bit, and then I can jump out of the car and have a close look at some of the buildings and things like that. Show you some of the specifications. But yeah, I'm really impressed with this. Oh, jump! Oh, it's not gonna, I'm definitely not fast enough for that, am I? Oh, it might, might make it. No. Oh, and I'm stuck. Oh, no, I'm not. Let's go up here and see if we can get away from the police. Now I can pop my car in the garage and save my progress. Yeah, super impressed with that. It works surprisingly well. Looks great. Let's just show you some of the settings I was using. So under settings, remember the MacBook is doing the screen capturing as well at the same time, so the performance would be even better. Under graphics, you can see that it was running at 1280 by 800 full screen. It does go 1080, but it does get a bit more choppy. So exit game and yes. And you can see I'm back here, still screen capturing. And if I go back into the heroic launcher, so you can see I've installed Superland. Uh, that didn't work. It crashed just after the um, the main loading screen. Stubbs the Zombie works absolutely fine, and I've done a shorts video on that. Uh, surprisingly good. I haven't tried any of these other games, and these are all free games I've been uh, I've got through the Epic Game Store, and also Prey is from Good Old Games. That was a, a free game on there. I haven't tried that yet. But that's how you play Epic and Good Old Games. But if I go into Safari. You can see there's an Apple Gaming Wiki all about game porting toolkit. And uh, this is the guide I use to get Epic Games and good old game support. You need to be running the beta version of Mac OS Sonoma. Um, so basically just go through the instructions that are here. But before that, I'd installed Whiskey to get Steam up and running. I'm not sure if there's a different method that's listed in here. But just to show you some of the games that they've had running, there is a games compatibility list within this document. Here you go. Uh, so there's a load of things in here, Batman Arkham Knight, uh, you can see some of them are runs, some of them are playable, some of them are perfect, GTA comes up as perfect, uh, and I'm surprised at how great it runs on this base model MacBook. Genshin Impact, Portal and Portal 2, I've got those actually in my Steam account, they're both playable, Rocket League is playable. Uh, there is a list of unplayable games as well, but uh, obviously not everything has been tried at this early stage. So if I go back and close this down, uh, so this is Heroic, the game launcher, and it is great. Uh, the way it works is, is really nice and easy to use. 
pretty much feels native like you're using on a Windows computer. So let's quit out of that and launch Whiskey. It's like an easy way of using Wine, uh, which runs Windows games on a Mac. And all of this is on my 512 SSD, which I showed at the start of the video. So Elastomania is a really old game, uh, and I just thought I'd try it because I had an EXE file for it, and it installed just, just normally. And here we go. So you can see I've been playing it a little bit just to try it out. All the menus are lovely and fast. Yes, I know it's a really basic game, but uh, you know, this sort of game sometimes doesn't even work on a, like a native Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So to be able to get it to run on this just was a surprise really. Uh, anyway, let's quit out of that. If we go back to this Steam container and I double tap on here and hit run, this will now launch Steam. And again, it's the Windows version of Steam. And it's let me use my external drive for all of this. So you can see Steam loads up. It is a bit slower than running it on a native Windows computer, but it still does work. Uh, if I hit library, you can see it shows uh, all of the games I've got. I don't buy a lot of games on Steam. So I installed Dirt Showdown, but that didn't work. One thing I was really impressed that did work is um, BMX the game. I love BMX, and so I thought I'd give it a try. And I've never been able to get it to properly run well on uh, a Windows computer because I haven't got any sort of higher spec Windows computers. My son has, but I, d I didn't really put it on there. And I've had to put it down to a lower resolution because I don't think it's a particularly well optimized game, but it supports my controller and it does work. So let's just go for a ride. So I'm not very familiar with the controls, but just to show you that it is working, uh, let's try and do something off here. Oh, a little grind and maybe we can just do a 180 here or oh, no we're doing more than that <laughs> oh dear uh, and you can manual and stuff like that but yeah I was just impressed because I've tried this on a native Windows computer and it really ran terribly and this is actually pretty playable on this at this low resolution let's see if we can get some real speed up if we can land on the front wheel, oh that didn't work. I think it's pretty cool if you can get if you can get used to the controls, it's actually pretty cool. But uh, it's just another set of controls to learn. So let's quit out of that. So that's Windows games. Emulation is also very impressive. I've already shown PS2 and Dolphin, which is GameCube and Wii. Uh, in previous videos, I've also shown PS3, which doesn't run quite as well. Um, but some of the easier to run games will run fine. But one of the ones I tried more recently was uh, Nintendo Switch. So this emulator is actually very impressive. So load application from file. We click on the game and hit open. And you can see it starts to load up. Now Zelda's certainly not perfect on this, especially when I'm screen capturing, but it is somewhat playable. And if you pick Switch games that are less demanding, they are much better. Let's try Minecraft Legends. There's no telling what you'll face in the overworld now that the piglins are here. So the sooner you master these tools, the better. Head over to action and we'll get started. Okay, so Minecraft Legends looks like a good solid 60 FPS. I don't know what I've got to do. Well, let's just jump around and stuff. Oh, it dropped a bit there. The sky friendly. Great. Now let's get to work. <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Yeah, this definitely runs better than Zelda. Definitely smoother. Yeah, very nice. So let's quit out of that. And I hope this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.